I I think that if you were if you were either one of those guys, and you're on the outside looking in, and after that horrific accident that Errol had, you got to think that if you're going to get him, now's the time to get him. Coming off of something like that, that he's not going to be a hundred percent. So maybe it changes Pacquiao's mind a little bit. Whatever occurs in the ring, it's going to be special. It's going to be fantastic because Manny looks like he's re- he's reborn. You know, he he runs his own ship basically. So you know, he'll know when it's time to get back. I think he's probably pointing toward. You know, he's probably eyeing an arrow and thinking the same thing. You know, let's do something in May. Hi, I'm Angie, and you're watching Dante's 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 Boxing. As y'all heard in the clip, PBC confirmed that the fight they working on is Manny Pacquiao versus Errol Spence. I mean, if it makes sense, obviously he's going to make a lot of dollars. And Manny Pacquiao versus Errol Spence will sell up to a million to two million on pay-per-view. So it's definitely a success. You got people on one hand, they wondering if Errol Spence is still the same. Is he the truth? And people know a 41-year-old Manny Pacquiao could seek out the truth in Errol Spence and his conditioning today. We all know, Manny, if he's going to fight Errol Spence like I told y'all six months ago, it's going to be now. And you don't need to be a genius to figure that out. It's obvious there's a question mark next to Errol Spence's name, especially aftermath of the car crash. So... Manny Pacquiao is looking to exploit that. He's looking to take advantage when it comes to everything he could find to an Errol Spence because he don't make that many mistakes in the ring. So the best way to beat the truth Errol Spence is to find mistakes outside of the ring. And that's what Manny Pacquiao found. He found a hole where Errol Spence went through a life experience, a life and death situation, and he survived. I believe is going to make him stronger. Manny Pacquiao, on the other hand, he willing to take the gamble now and fight an Errol Spence. He obviously 41. He needs every single advantage he could get his hands on. So, of course, he's going to capitalize on this opportunity. I mean, he'd be silly if he doesn't. Like I said, if he's going to fight Errol Spence at any point of his career, it's going to be now or never. Manny Pacquiao has one more great fight left in him. I don't think he's trying to do the Bernard Hopkins and fight till he's 50 years old. Because when he's 50, he'll probably be the president of Philippine and how pimping is that. But for the moment, I believe Errol Spence might send him to retirement. Even though Manny Pacquiao is one of my favorite fighters, every dog has his day. And people could say, well, he's Asian. They don't age as fast, but Errol Spence is going to make him feel every bit of that 41 years old because on one hand, he's a softball. Errol Spence hit hard. He doesn't make any mistakes. Unlike Keith Thurman, uh, he could fight in the inside, in the outside, mid-range. He could do it all. He got the whole package. So the torch will pass. And just like Freddie Roach stated, he believed that Errol Spence will be the pound for pound number one after Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather retire. And his fruition might come true because he going to retire Manny Pacquiao and take over the throne. And that's his Oscar de la Hoya ticket. That's him hitting the lotto. That's him going from pretty boy Floyd stage to money made stage. So obviously the truth is ready for anything that come his way because getting tossed out of the car and still survive that you definitely have a purpose. So PBC is on the same page as new media as Aki TV. I told PBC that should be the plan from day one. And obviously they were working on that, but they can't force fighters to fight each other. It has to be the right time. It has to be when certain fighters are comfortable, especially a cash cow like Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. So 
to all my Akis, to all the people that want to be part of the family, go ahead and subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. And if you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't and listen to these casual fans slash old media. Now, if you want to be an Aki for real and you want to be a brother, you want to be Aki brother from another mother or sister, then click on the notification bell to get notified every time we post or go live on Split Decision. It's a boxing debate slash talk show. So join us every Sunday live. We definitely going to touch on this subject in particular. So that being said, shout out to DBN. Shout out to Dante for starting the new media wave. And shout out to Lunatune for the funniest boxing memes. You can follow him on the description box below. Keep it a G and follow my man on IG and follow me too at IKeyTV. 